Hey there, I'm Julie Alexandria, and though most people know me as a sports reporter or an entertainment red carpet host, one thing that I'm really passionate about and super into is perfume, specifically niche perfume. I worked for many years in New York City at Bond Number no. 9, if you're familiar with that line, and then I ended up working at Saks Fifth Avenue in New York City on Fifth Avenue in the fragrance department. It's something that I absolutely love. I have a huge collection, and I've been watching a lot of these perfume review videos online, and I find a lot of them have a lot of issues. Number one, a lot of people are very misinformed when it comes to the creation, the process, and the care for niche and expensive perfumes. And so today I'm gonna to be doing a video on the Baccarat Rouge 540. This is, um, there you go. I just ordered it, and of course we are in a pandemic, so this is my Mother's Day present because it is, it does have a very heavy price tag. So I'm gonna do a little unboxing and then I'm gonna show you an alternative that I also ordered as an experiment for $44 and that's including shipping. So I'm gonna share with you guys what that is as well because if the $300 for the Baccarat Rouge from Neiman Marcus or Nordstrom's or any other um, high-end retailer is too much of a price tag, which I totally get, $44 will get you the exact same. And no, it's not the Ariana Grande Cloud fragrance because I, I do not understand how people think that, that smells anything like Baccarat Rouge 540 because it doesn't. And it also dissipates on the skin after like 10 seconds. So for anyone who thinks that that is what I'm comparing this to, it's not. I've also watched all of the video reviews on YouTube and no one, not one person, has picked up on this alternative. Stay tuned. Okay, never mind. I was gonna do the whole unboxing, but I really don't have the camera set up nor the patience, so let's just get right to it. We're gonna open this box. This is, like I said, this is my Mother's Day present. It comes with a bit of a hefty price tag, um, but just a little background on this fragrance. This is a molecule fragrance. This is a very um, heavy fragrance for some people. This is not for the faint of heart when it comes to fragrance. This is not for the person who says, oh, I just want something light, or oh, it's too heavy, um, or I want something natural because my skin is very sensitive. This is not for you. This is a almost 100% um, synthetic fragrance, which means there is nothing natural about it. So definitely keep that in mind. Um, if going more natural is your thing, there are certainly some long-lasting, interesting alternatives that um, have that. Oh, here we go. Okay. So let's show you right here. I've got the Rouge Baccarat and ah, ah, there she is. Now, personally, this is one that I've wanted for a really long time and it was actually on sale because Neiman Marcus was doing 25% off of their full price beauty, which they never do. So I had to take advantage. So I got like $75 off, which is pretty awesome. Um, so here comes the little booklet. Look at how beautiful she is. Oh, she's gorgeous. Now this is not to be confused with the x -trait. Um That comes in the red bottle, but the dupe that I have also has a dupe for the x -trait. but I was not gonna throw down like nearly $500 with shipping for the x -trait. Like, sorry, not gonna do it. Okay, here we go. Here she is. Also, by the way, don't trust any perfume or fragrance review where the reviewer doesn't actually have it in hand. Like, I don't understand, side note, I don't understand these beauty bloggers and reviewers that are like, oh, I really, you know, I really didn't like it. And it's like, well, where is it? Did you own it? No, you went to a store and you maybe sampled it, which the sample could have been compromised. You don't know until you actually purchase it. So never trust a perfume blogger unless they actually lay down the cash. All right, here we go. The thing that I love about this, and yes, like I said, it's synthetic, but that toasted almond, that burnt sugar, it's such a rich gourmand fragrance. It feels like a cashmere blanket as you're sitting next to the fireplace on a cold winter evening as snow is building up on the windowsill behind you. It's just, it's, it's just so good. Okay, here we go. 
squeeze it and like it doesn't, nothing comes out for a second because it's brand new. Love it. Oh, it's just, it's, it's excellent. Okay, so this is the real deal. Again, with a $300 US dollar uh, price tag, it is certainly an investment. Um, this is from Maison Frances Kirchian and his uh, perfumes are works of art. They really are. He is responsible for the Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mal, which is iconic for any perfumer. Um, you know, that's the bottle with, it looks like a man's body with the stripes and the blue, with the frosted glass. He knows what he's doing is my point. Okay, let's get to the real deal though. Let's talk about if you don't want to get this baby. You ready for this? Here we go. So there's a new company that I discovered and you may have seen them wrapped in bubble wrap. This is how it comes. It's called Alt, A-L-T. And here you go. Their version is called Crystal Number 23. Alt, A-L-T, crystal number 23, and, or crystal number 23, actually, is, I believe they even say that on the website, that it's pronounced crystal, mm, just so you know. Um, gosh, it is uncanny. It's uncanny how similar they smell. There you go. Now, of course, the bottle is nothing special. It reminds me of Demeter. If you remember Demeter Fragrance Library, same packaging. Um, it, Alt's whole platform is that they believe that people should have access to beautiful, niche, expensive perfumes without paying the expensive price tag. And so they have created a very small collection. I think it's a very small collection. I know that they say on the website that they're building and they're in the process of adding to their collection. But right now they have some very interesting um, fragrances. They have Virgin Island Water from Creed, which is one of my favorites. Great summer fragrance. Um, they also have Aventus for her. Um, and they have Lost Cherry by Tom Ford. They have Santal by Le Labo, which if you're into Santal, and I know it had its moment in New York and LA, it's still having its moment, go on there and buy it because, you know, Le Labo is a Labo. But I was very interested to see that not only did they have the Baccarat 540, Rouge 540 dupe, they also had the x -Straight. Now this is the only company I have found out there that does a dupe of the x -Straight. And here it is, they call it Crystal Intense number 32. So that's what it looks like. Again, the same Demeter Fragrance Library bottle. It smells completely different, completely different. Now, the reason I bought both of these and our beautiful girl here is I wanted to test it out. I wanted to see what all the fuss was about to own it myself. I mean, I, I already knew this was a winner, but I wanted to go ahead and make the investment. Like I said, Mother's Day present to myself. <laughs> Being a mom is hard, you guys. Um, and uh, these two caught my eye. I believe they're $36 and then it's shipping as well on top of that. Um, at the very least, try it because there are room sprays that are more expensive than $44, right? Um, I'm sorry, they were $39, I believe. Um, but either way, I decided to use the Crystal Intense, the x -Straight, um dupe as a room spray because I'm not a huge fan of the x -Straight. Um, But it is absolutely incredible and long lasting. Oh my gosh. I, I saw one review call it brutally long lasting. It is brutally long lasting, um, almost to a fault. Like. I even took a shower and soaked up and everything and washed off and I could still smell it. Um, but I use this one as a room for spray and this one, I mean, put it in the gym bag. I was really impressed with this company, really, really impressed at the longevity and also at the similarity, how they really, really, really got the Maison Cartier, like down to a T. So absolutely incredible. And you know, again, one of their strongholds that they say on their website is that we want people to experience 
these high-end fragrances, but a lot of times you're paying for marketing, you're paying for the campaigns when they use big time models, you're paying for the name, Francis Kirchian, you know, you're paying for the perfumer, for the nose, for the perfume house if it's made by Juvedon. You know, you're paying for all of the production. You're also paying for the bottle. I mean, there, there's no comparison, come on, let's be real. You're paying for the packaging. Look at this packaging, it's stunning. It's absolutely, it's heavy too. It's beautiful. It's a work of art in itself. So with this, it's a no frills option, but for $44, are you kidding me? I mean, the, come on. It's like, I, yeah, I, I can't even think of an excuse not to get it. If you're thinking that you might want to purchase the 540, but maybe, you know what, maybe that stimulus check hasn't hit yet. Maybe you don't have direct deposit. That's okay. Go with this one. No, I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. I'm not endorsing that you should at all spend your stimulus checks on fragrances at all. Bad joke. But um, this is the way to go. This is the way to go. And listen, we're in a time right now where any sort of fragrance I feel like is going to be connotated by what we're going through because fragrance has a way of bringing us back to a memory, depending on when and where we were wearing it. Not that I want to remember COVID-19 or the pandemic or being in isolation, in self-quarantine with any sort of fragrance, but if I had to remember it in a way, I'd rather have a sweet memory than no memory at all. <laughs> So that's why I chose also to get this is that this is listen We're all going through a really difficult time and I want to be able to look back on this time And hopefully when I smell this smell I will be able to have a sense of peace and and a sense of love and, and warmth knowing that you know, we made some sacrifices and we gave a lot and we lost a lot but we were also able to move on and one day we will look back on this and hopefully everyone is staying healthy at home and taking the right precautions and following the rules. All right, I'm Julia Alexandria. Alt, Maison Kirchian. Enjoy, have a good day everyone.